Hey, Craig's here while you're showing me Aizawa's taint. <laughs> Welcome to what are we reading? I'm Lydic. <laughs> oh, now you're just clutching it to your face. Classy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Real classy. Oh, my <laughs> You said it first. You said it first. You did it first. No, I then didn't. You did like, it slower. No, because this part was right here. Like, this part was, like, down by my tibbies. That and then you were like the one, now you're just closing it to your... And I was like, no, it was like this. And yeah. these are where this were. It was literally like this. And then you said that, so I was like, fine, yeah, I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah, my neck is I'm much just... harder than you, you fucking <laughs> giraffe-ass motherfucker. Look, it's not my I'm Jess, fault. everybody. This is <laughs> yes, welcome to Jess. Crazy Town. That's just I'm happened. currently being tormented by Ichigo Koneko, aka Ichi Tan. I got a new mouse pad. Yes. Uh, if you were part of the Discord, you might have found out about this already. If you're not part of the Discord, um, lucky basically, you. <laughs> <laughs> basically, right now, my anime husband is um, Shota Aizawa from My Hero Academia. Um, I ordered a new mouse pad that you know it's like them tibby pillow like the the tibby titty tibby yeah, yeah, titty. Um, mouse or pads you know for wrist support culture. it's a pair of rowlets um yeah or you know pair of rowlets or if you're you know or some you might have seen the ones where it's like man chest like the pecs but um sometimes it's ass or sometimes it's ass so like I ordered one that um I thought was just ass you know I saw was ass as he's laying on his back with his legs kind of like spread open um but then when it came in i realized that they also um you didn't realize they molded that i didn't realize that the bulge was molded i i noticed that from the fucking picture i didn't i didn't realize that i thought it was just his his thighs and his butt i did not realize the bulge was molded as well so now my wrist um rests on aizawa's bulge whenever okay. i use my mouse yeah This is reality. Yeah. Someone end me. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah. I would say I'm sorry, but honestly, I'm not. <laughs> Fucking hell, I don't know what that was. Sorry. I'm having a bad, really, really, really bad case of acid reflux. Tonight. Oh, no, I wasn't talking about that. I just... I don't know where I was. Um, yeah, I was apologizing to our listeners. I have to hear my grody burps. Oops. If we Chip did just face, fell. If we did face cam for the actual like episodes themselves instead of just for our own benefits, then people would have just saw me fucking curl in on myself there. Chip fell on the floor. I got a rescue chip. Oh boy. Anyway. I think there is a way that I could actually do that now that I think about it. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, literally what it would require uh, for like us both of our webcams to be there is I'd have to change uh, the webcams here likely to windowed mode uh, and do a OBS capture that is specifically cropped to the webcam feeds themselves. Okay. Sorry. It just popped into my head, like, the mechanics involved in actually doing that. No. Possible future thing. Who knows? I don't. I probably won't live much longer. Uh, anyway. We are continuing with, uh, fucking Twyla, the girl who was in love with a vampire. Uh, yes, it is spelled how it is in the title. Um. I'm actually somewhat alive and awake for this one. I am also currently playing with fire like a dumbass. Please stop that! I lit a candle and I found a piece of thread. Don't light the thread! I already did. Why are you like this? <laughs> because 
I'm currently in the middle no. of a major mental what? break. Why do, I have why no do, sense of self-preservation. Stop. Do, no. Why do people have I to keep making me worry about you. their own fucking safety during episodes? I would... Okay, that reminds me that I need to play with fire and I need to burn something right now. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes. No, that, almost, yes. that was almost my fingers. That was almost my finger. We, we, can play with, we can play with fire when we come visit you next month. No. Okay. But I don't know how long that I'm going to want to keep you, hold of this. I need to burn. You guys are making me actively fucking worried right now <laughs> you want to know what fucking stresses me out it's my friends putting themselves in danger <laughs> it's really fun no oh shit that's hot that's hot that's hot that's hot the same goes to sonic incident okay <laughs> <laughs> See, it only it only it only stays lit for like a few seconds, and it burns out before it can even hit my fingers. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm showing Ichi what I need to burn. <laughs> mm, what do you need to? Okay. <laughs> ew. I mean, you yeah, look gorgeous, but that. ew. I know. <laughs> So for I'm proud those of myself you, with how I looked in that. Because no one was able to hear that. I was literally just having to go through a fucking cycle of deep breathing to calm myself down. I lost my thread that I was burning. Stop! I think I'm no, gonna I'm find sad. I have Stop! so many ashtrays. I can finally find one right now and probably burn part of that. Hey. Yeah, I mean, keep the keep the half of you. That's pretty, but burn burn his yeah, half. I will. For the love of fuck. Hey, <laughs> she is burning for That's healing it purposes. You I am are just burning. lighting shit on fire, <laughs> and it is giving me a fucking panic attack. I need something else to light on fire. No, what's this? I would give you this if I could. If I could teleport ah, shit, it to almost you, fell I out would, of my baby. Feet. I wonder what happens if I light this on fire. Oh great, this is the episode that's going to actually fucking kill me, and we haven't even started yet. <laughs> You're welcome. This is not a funny haha -ha situation. I'm being serious. Well, that was very anticlimactic. <laughs> Fucking my hair. I'm sorry. I warned you I was not in the right mental state. I didn't realize that that was good. Oh, for a second, I thought Craig disconnected, but it was just Jess. Yeah. Stuff froze. Do we kill my tick? Is he okay? I give up. Nothing's burning the way okay. I want it to burn. I am not okay right now. Not with that. No. Oh, there we go. Please. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, anyone needs to be under my desk. I feel like viewers would enjoy watching this. <laughs> oh. Oh. I put it out. See, it's out. It's not burning anymore. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. I'll put the candle out. You don't need to put the candle out. The candle is fine. Just don't go fucking lighting stuff on. Fire on your. It's 
so weird because I'm green. I can't even see y'all's faces. I found one of those uh, QR code scanner thing packs. You can have your cards like online. Yeah. And I was, would it make you feel better no. if I showed you my baby? It's not sharp. Anyway, in public and don't want people to fuck with me. I just the length uh -huh. of my thigh on my loop uh -huh. belt and uh, people don't want to talk to me. It's I nice. I myself for a bit. Yeah. <sighs> Put my thigh out there. Being a flower chip. <laughs> Christ. <sighs> mm. Anyway. Anyway. Fucking hell. We're on chapter nine. I was gonna call this a train wreck. Are we? But my fucking brain <laughs> in the past five seconds was more of a train wreck than this story ever will be. Great. <laughs> That's the big Nah, I think the story's more of a train wreck. Yeah, no, the story didn't involve the possibility of my friends dying horribly. All right. Anyway. Um, I feel like I don't know how to play with fire safely. Death. Your friends might die of mental death because of this. Story. My friends are apparently <laughs> trying to make me die of like mental fucking complications. Christ. I feel like I don't know how to play the fire safely. Senior room, there's no way to safely play with any anything flammable there. I have cleaned my room. My room is very clean. It's still a very enclosed space. Meh. There's no safe place to burn a thing. It's not like you were going over to... Burner. It's not like you were going over to a fucking fireplace and, like, holding shit over like that. Over, like, the, like putting stuff in that to set it on fire. Just fucking setting stuff on fire out in the open. Yeah. See, I was nice saying I was gonna look for an ashtray. Yeah, like, at least Jess looked for an ashtray. Or will look for an ash or whatever. You couldn't see it, but I was literally holding everything over this cup. So if anything went bad, it would have dropped into this cup and it would have been fine. Anyway, <laughs> on to something that's less mentally scarring for me. We're on chapter nine. <sighs> Betrayal, you will see what happens, though. Spoilers, maybe? Author's note, OMG, Saz, I took too, so long to update. I can't really say why, but if you want to know, did message me, and I'll tell you that I had an emergency and almost died from swallowing five bottles of aspirin lol. Aspirin. Or have I just been pronouncing aspirin wrong my entire life? Weak. I don't know. Aspirin. Is it really? Is it an? That is a horrible to way to. <laughs> Weak. Do seven, and then we can talk. I, the phrasing just confuses me because I'm just imagining someone unhinging their jaw like a snake and swallowing an entire bottle of aspirin five times. And honestly, I'm more impressed than anything. You mean like this? Your camera's been frozen for me for a bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix it. I don't that. even see cameras on y'all. Y'all just weirdos. <laughs> You mean like like Weird. this? Just your oh. camera's loading. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know if a girl is sexy. Do you see me? She can swallow five full bottles, (laughs) including the packaging of pills. Here you go. Can you can you see me now? Yeah, I can see you. So it's just like this. I saw you with it sticking out of your mouth. I mean, she must not have a tongue because my tongue is what's stopping me. I think it's also the size of the back of your throat. And how rigid it is. No, because when I put it in my mouth, like, it pushes my tongue where, like, it's against the back of my throat. I'm... Huh. Compared to other things one might shove in their mouth, that is a lot more rigid and solid. <laughs> it ain't got the same sproing. <laughs> Can't get that gluck gluck action going with the pill bottle. This is what I'm saying. So I think also just the way that pill bottles are made. Anyway, are you going to sit in the background being snarky, or are you reading? Uh, We ever come to a consensus on that? Let's see. LOL. Get giz. What to all of you people who say that I'm dumb meet psychology teacher told me to ignore you because you're just playing mind games to tree to make me fe- fell bad about myself. I am not the losser in this sit- 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 situation. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> preeps stop flamong goth goths Thanks for the good stuff. MCR rocks 11666. You're doing a great job of ignoring the hater, sweetie. Chapter 9. Recap from Chapter 8. I want to kill Bella because dot dot dot. We can help you with that, I said sexily. Mui Bean. C is that spelled wrong? I'll see you at dawn. X X X X X X X X X. Well, I woke. I woke up again that morning. When I woke up again that morning, I was ready to kill Bella. It was dawn, and James, right. I forgot about Spanish James. Spanish James is James. James. <laughs> is James in Spanish, apparently. Had packed all of the supplies for killing. Eddie woke up and opened his eyes, which were the same as mine. We put on our makeup. He had on white foundation, black eyeliner, <laughs> and this fake blood stuff that goes on your face. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I feel like if you were a vampire, you'd want to avoid that. Yeah. <laughs> I had on purple eyeshadow, lots of black, and drac lipstick. James uh, tried to get, tried to watch us get dressed, but I told him that if he didn't fuck off, I wouldn't help kill I wouldn't help him kill that little bitch this f- so I didn't go to school with but the preppy principal was too scared to call and ask why Ed didn't go either I suddenly remembered Midnight and knew she would want to be involved too, but she was on her honeymoon with Jasper, who I told to love her or else I was never going to talk to him again. Unfortunately, while... it's Confederate Vampire Jasper, not Big Buff Cheeto Puff Jasper. While we were leaving secretly to Bella's house, I got sad because Ed and I didn't have a honeymoon. 
I can't read that part. What is the... I have a honeymoon. Ah. Are you going to need to, like, deafen for a while I say this, or no? Uh. How do I do that? See, there's a little thing next to you, your name that has, like, little headphones on it. Click that, it deafens and mutes you. Yeah, I'm trying to. Either that or, oh, that's not quite what I wanted. Or I could actually just deafen you myself now that I think yeah, about it. It's not letting me do it. Deafen her and then undeafen her. Yeah. All right, she's currently deafened, uh, or at least she should be. All right, I'll just read she it because my you. line's next. Hi, then. I started to cut my wrists a little on the way there, and I saw that Ed looked worried. How do you do that just a little? You really can't. I feel like this author just does it because they think it's cool without realizing what it really means. Well, it, it's similar to the whole thing with My Immortal of just, like, I ran into the bathroom sobbing and slipped my wrists. Mm-hmm. Which, that one was supposed to be, like, I guess making fun of, like, the edgy OC, like, the edgy emo OC, because, like, well, back in high school, like, there was the whole game, I mean, I guess still is, of, like, your name, the hedgehog, and you'd, you'd find, like, an edgy-ass fucking hedgehog OC. Probably with, like, the emo hair fringe. Alrighty. When we got there, Hamez bork into the <laughs> house. He barked. He bork. did a robot bark. Bork, bork. Good job, Hamez. And we went up stars to Bella's room. The whole thing was pink, and it reminded me of Rosalind's room. I started to cry all hot and angsty because that's where I caught her with my husband. All right, he slept with. Yeah, Rosalind. is she still deafened? Yes. Yeah, she's still good, deaf and good. Uh, I cut my wrists more, some more, but Hama said, "Shh, we can't let her." No, we are at her casa. What? I have two questions here. Why? First is, what's going on that you cutting your wrists is apparently just that loud? And then two, why Why does Hamas say mostly English and then every one single word every once in a while says a Spanish word? Why? <laughs> Why? Uh, because fictional Spaniard. Anyway. Uh, thank you. I, it wasn't working. It wasn't? No. I was trying to undo it and it wouldn't let me do it. I, I had it. I had you server deafen. You then. should have been. Wait. No. No. Yeah. I had you server deafen. Like, that should have made it to where you couldn't hear. Yeah, I couldn't hear, and then you were like, come back, and I was like, I, I couldn't come back. I wasn't saying come back. I oh. was waving. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying come back, and I'm like, what? No, we had a second line. Um, oh. Uh, apparently, apparently it was a risk to a stealth mission, somehow. Oh. I don't want to think about the sound mechanics involved in that. Well then. What is it with you today? Just sticking things in your mouth. I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. There's a chance I could swallow that. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to stick the tiny unicorn in my mouth. I might die. <laughs> At least I'm sticking things in my mouth that I can't die from. Ugh. 
the trouble of um, basically hey. just having a bag of holding for a mouth. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. I could only hear Ichi through that whole conversation. I couldn't hear Lytic at all. <laughs> oh, you missed Lytic talking about swallowing a tiny unicorn. I have a tiny um, pink unicorn right there. Uh, and like Ichi Tan stuck like the fucking pen in her mouth. And like I grabbed like the little unicorn. I was like, wait, no, I could actually end up swallowing that. <laughs> It wasn't that I just, like, stuck a pen in my mouth. I was kind of just chewing on the end of it. And he was like, what's with you sticking things in your mouth? And then I was like, wait, no, I can't stick this in my mouth because I will actually swallow it. It's, it's not my fault that I apparently the moment something goes into my mouth, it just immediately goes down my throat. Well, then. Or gets shredded, too. Or gets absolutely shredded by my teeth. Usually both. Badger, 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 badger. badger. <laughs> Hard candy does not last very long with me. It gets turned into powder and swallowed. Oh, we don't want to talk about how my last boyfriend ended up in the hospital. <laughs> there was nothing left. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, she was sleeping, all preppy, and there were posters of Ed on her walls. I think this might be the first story in which Bella is creepier than Edward. <laughs> Do you hear about the whole thing of like him, uh, like in the gender, not the gender, uh, the Twilight from like Edward's perspective? If memory serves, there's a mention of him actually using WD-40 on the windows to make sure they don't squeak. And Midnight Sun, really? If memory serves. It's either that or like a mention of how he's... Because the I've whole thing wanting... apparently moves him really fast. Oh. Yeah, I've been wanting to like read it, but I also don't want to spend like $20 on it. <laughs> uh, okay, we do... Because uh, I believe that also Mutant Museum has his reading up uh, still. Let me check this. Let me, let me check. Uh, if, if he does... Uh, yeah, Mutant Museum still has his up from ten years ago. Fucking hell. Um, but yeah, there's the Mutant Museum reading, and then also we did one of the unpublished manuscript as well. Uh, like oh yeah, no, I know the unpublished yeah. manuscript because I I did read that. Like I did find yeah, yeah. that online, and I did read that. But like I'm talking about like the actual one Full that thing. she put out. Yeah. the full yeah like, I, uh, but I don't want to spend 20 bucks on a book that I don't actually like want to keep how much was my fucking copy of American Gods <laughs> um I'm trying to figure out so American like Gods I've been just Gods. I've just been waiting for yeah. my the local li one of the local libraries to get like the copy yeah. in stock yeah which, so long as Mute Museum keeps his up ours will probably stay up if something happens that causes him to have to take his down, then we'll likely take ours down as a precaution. Besides the point. Uh, where the fuck was I? All oh, right, I ran over and tore them down with my long black nails. She was dreaming about Ed, and he started to get angry because he hated her. I thought he couldn't read her mind. Maybe she was just talking about him in her sleep. Ew. You know, like, the the only concern Bella had with Edward breaking into her room every night. The possibility of her talking in her sleep. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah I'm not gonna fucking... I'm not yep. fucking on the whole midnight... I, I, it... Is there still people on, like, the Twilight, like, fucking hate train? I don't know. It's fucking dumb. However, there's a lot of stuff in those books that's just like, oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> that is very yeah. uncomfortable. 
I mean, the books themselves, you know, say for those few, like, cringe, kind of, like, weird, uncomfortable moments, weren't all that bad. Now, the movie, I can rag on the movies all the, game, the goddamn movie. time. Okay, here's the thing with the books, th though, is that none of the characters were likable. Like, none of the perspective characters at any point were really likable. Like, Bella, for a lot of it, was just kind of an asshole at all times. Mm -hmm. And it's just all this stuff of, like... They also left out a lot of, like, character plots that were in the books. Oh, no, I'm talking movies. about the books. Oh, the, yeah. No, Bella, like, yeah, straight up Bella was not a very likable character at first. I really didn't like Rosalie all that much, but then when I kind of learned about her backstory, I felt really, really bad for her. Because like she didn't some of the side that. Characters Same were thing for right. Alice. Yeah, and then as soon as the fucking quote-unquote werewolves, uh, big fucking finger quotes get introduced, all of the vampires become racist. Um... <laughs> Well, I mean, everybody was kind of a little racist in there because, like, Jacob was super like, ugh, don't be near them, and wouldn't say, like, why? And he's like, oh, well, because they're vampires and we're shifters and all this stuff like that. So everybody I, could just kind of keep okay. racist between each other. Granted, and then there was whole, the whole racism between the vampires the and the ones who didn't drink animal blood and those who drank here's, human here's blood. The, there was just racism can, all around. I can understand people being afraid of vamp, like, naturally being like, yeah, stay the fuck away from vampires, because, you know, they... Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, it just... All, it's all not all, like it the was whole very... thing. Like, the vampires, like, just generally had, like, this superiority to them that made them... Mm -hmm. easily much mm -hmm. more hateable than I think Stephanie realized. Yeah. Because I don't care how fucking powerful you are, you talk down to me, you're on my shit list. <laughs> yeah, and also the thing was, um, people just didn't really realize that, like, just in general, Stephanie Meyer herself is, like, super fucking racist. Like, uh, Laurent wasn't even supposed to be played by a black actor. Like the director had to fight. I, I will say I don't think him. that. I don't think that. Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to be fucking careful how I phrase this. I do not believe that Stephanie Meyer is actively racist or like no, violently she... racist. I believe she is more of your garden variety, passively racist. No, she straight up said that all the vampires had to yeah. be white because yeah, because of the way that they her looked world building prettier won. that way. It, it wasn't, wasn't the way okay, it was that's written because the they looked she prettier. Used. It's not. No, okay, she did. You're, you're combining fucking phrasing. The whole thing was that, like, the way it worked basically, like, fucking bleached them. Uh. But that, again, this feels more like, like the way that she told it from everything I've read involving this, wasn't that she said that they were white because it looked prettier that way. It was more just the way that the venom work bleached the body, and then it's constantly being described that the vampires are supposed to be the pinnacle of beauty. And so that ends up being more of the passive racism in which it's like, wait, so you're implying that the pinnacle of beauty is pale ass white. That's that's more of a passive racism than an active racism thing. It's still racism. It is still racism. Everyone fucking does that, and it is a problem. But what I'm saying is that something like that seems to be more unintentional than intentional. That's what I'm saying. Most fucking beauty standards are built off of racism. At the end of the day. Like, that's just how it works. Like, that's just how fucking societies work. I don't think that Stephanie is violently racist. I think she just doesn't know better. Like, that's what I'm saying. She I, ignorant. <laughs> well, can I mean, like honestly, 
Honestly, I don't think it's she didn't know any better because if you look at it, the only people of color in the entire book series was the Native, the Native Americans. Americans. She's also a white author. And she a had a sheltered white she, author. She had like, she had what, like one or two Asian characters with very stereotypical Asian last names. And that was it. Same, same with J.K. Rowling. <laughs> That's a whole nother story, and everybody can that agree a she's just a piece actor. of what, she's a transphobic what, piece of shit. Yeah, I'm she's saying a like transphobic with, asshole. What I'm saying here, though, is that this this doesn't feel like active racism. This feels like passive racism. This is something that is just a result of the way that a person is raised. You throw a you throw a fucking rock at a fucking shelf of books written by white like white writers, and the majority of characters are. Like, you're going to have, like, very few people of color. And most of the time, the ones that are are likely going to be Asian. <laughs> With stereotypical Asian last names. The only person of color in fucking Erica Mitchell's fan fiction was Hispanic. <laughs> like, this is and just like this the brief part of the mention... course for white authors. And like a brief mention of like some a possibility of someone's assistant being. No, 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 that wasn't an assistant. Uh, I don't think that was an assistant. That was. No, I'm not talking. Very... I'm not talking about the guy in when she first met Christian. I'm talking about oh. like when she goes and interviews with what's his face. Jack Hyde. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. No, but I will say the one, the like, that one is, that is good the whole thing. thing that came out of Twilight as a whole, the parody movie Vampires Suck. That movie is fucking awful. That is the <laughs> I worst. fucking love it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate modern spoof movies. They are all awful. They never actually make fun of the source material or any of the tropes involved in the genre or anything like that. They just make dick jokes. That is all they do. They are all fucking awful and i pop no, my because elbow vampires i hate suck. it i hate it vampires hate it. Suck. always no. make fun of the fact that they made taylor or like half his shirt off in almost every single fucking scene the only joke with that was hey it's a fat guy now it's not funny that is not no. funny yeah that's not how it goes at all in vampires suck yeah it was just now it's a fat guy no yeah it it really wasn't. Yeah, it was just like it was also just him making fart noises. No. Yeah. I don't think we're talking about the same movie. Vampire but... suck. Yeah. It's another in a fucking long list of terrible fucking shitty spoof movies because no one's done a good spoof movie since fucking Airplane. Because none of the spoof movies actually take a look at the fucking genre. It's not an actual, like... <laughs> There's no fucking effort. Fucking hate that movie. I kind of zoned out because I personally have never watched any Twilight or anything like that, so I can't play yeah. input. But I made the mistake of glancing ahead, and I am cringing a whole lot worse. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I still didn't finish worse. my fucking line. Okay. Are you ready? I'm as whispered. You can take this ord. Eddie have the It's full of cyanide. That's a bit of a fucking discrepancy in weaponry. Yeah. Well, I was sad because I always wanted to and oh my fucking god. <laughs> I always wanted to inject myself, but I didn't say anything because I knew it wouldn't under they wouldn't understand. I Sweetie, you're a vampire, I don't think it's gonna do anything. I'ma be real with you.
fucking hell. I started to cry tears of blood, and Ed gasped and started crying also with me. Everyone's just crying now. So much tears. So many tears. Oh boy, your camera froze again. <laughs> Good. How did it freeze? Do I look uh, terrifying? No, you were just kind of like grumpously looking off to the side. Ah. Then now it's loading. Shit, no, I was thinking breaking wind. I was thinking breaking wind. Vampire suck also wasn't very good, but breaking wind was the one where the only joke was that was was that he was fat. No. Now. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I swear to God, that did not happen in Vampire Suck. I was like, Are you sure? Like, you're vampire Suck vampire is still a suck. fucking sack of shit. That like it is, but it's also just kind of isn't like, funny. To I like a lot of cringe stuff. I find a lot of cringe uh, stuff funny. I, I and I get that cringe that's funny me. when it's trying to be funny. I get that that's also just me. Like I get a lot of people don't all will all not always have the same sense of humor that I do. Um, was this done by the same people who did Meet the Spartans? I think I just threw up my mouth a little bit. Don't tell me. He screamed with depth of oppression and pain in his voice that you're sad she's going to die. No, you fucking um insert slur I'm not going to say here I'm sad because there are so many things that I want in life but everyone only cares about my body what the fuck <laughs> this is a bad time to do this they only care about my tibbies look we're trying to kill someone can you please not have this moment now uh, this is the exact time you no. need to have this moment Look, we we don't need to have because her look, 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 so she's dying. Yeah, I get, I get. We're killing her, and she's going to die. But this moment needs to be about me. Oh boy! We did you survive your line? Barely. Oh man. I just violently got reminded that Daddy Daycare was a film. Oh boy. I love that movie. <laughs> I also like The Pacifier. Why? Because Vin Diesel. Uh, but he has no charisma. He is literally the least good thing in his own film franchise. I can't put any input because I kind of zone man out what y'all are talking about. He so, has the least chariot. Yeah. He has the least captivating man titties in all of the Fast and Furious. <laughs> I still remember the Peter Panda song. Don't. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have no clue what I zoned back into because when y'all started talking about different movies, I just kind of just zoned out. So I just zoned you... in and it talked about man titties. I'm like, okay, y'all have fun with that. I'm going to wait until <laughs> y'all are ready. <laughs> why, 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 why is there a big story to history of terrible children's movies with big strong men from whatever the fucking decade is? Next, you're going to tell me you don't like the Tooth Fairy with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. No. <laughs> I also don't like Santa with muscles. <laughs> or any of the other Hulk Hogan ones. I'm sorry, what? I never watch any of the Hulk Hogan stuff. Yeah, they're about the same quality as the Pacifier and the Tooth Fairy. I also never watched the Tooth Fairy. I just wanted to say it to see your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Why are, you, why are you torturing me this episode? Because I have no control over my life. So you're just ruining mine? Possibly. 
Anyway. Oh, yo. Okay. It's your fault that you're beautiful. He cried sexily, hugging me. A sexy cry. That's what I want in a man. I wish I could sexy cry. I look ugly as fuck when I cry. My face puffs up. Hamas got scared because we were being loud, but Bila didn't w walk up. Suddenly, we killed her. <laughs> that was quick. That was climactic. Um. Wait, no, the opposite of that. Anticlimactic. Um. Thanks, Satan. She's gone. We all said in unicorn. And unicorn. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just realized what that's supposed to say. And I I only speak in unicorn now. I just my my brain hasn't been this are you fucking kidding me since the osteoporosis joke. I if anyone doesn't know, the fucking sub Bone Apple Tea, like, or like the whole Bone Apple Tea joke for like Bone Appetit. Uh, at one point, like, someone just like posted a picture of a meal and was like, yep, made this osteoporosis. And everyone was like, how the fuck did we get here? And so it was like, wait, wait, bone atrophy. Fuck. <laughs> um, or like the girl who uh she has an outfit on she's like i'm really feeling my alphabet tonight oh yeah but that one i could kind of understand that being like a legitimate like fuck up this one was literally like made this for myself osteoporosis it wasn't a it wasn't a legitimate like I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't think it was a, because the way she I've did it, it's like she sell, that... she separated alphabet into like three words. I've seen some people who just don't know how to spell words. Like, like, it, it's kind of that whole thing of like when you only ever hear, hear a word said. Like, that's the whole thing. Anyway. Yeah, uh, right. her. Yeah, basically what I'm saying is the word is supposed to be unison. Um, her body disintegrated into the bed, which was all wet with blood. I don't think that was cyanide in that syringe. Uh, I fucking lost my place. We uh, ate. We ate her bed, so there would be no evidence. Lol, get it like Evan has his... And then we left her mom, uh, and, and left before her mom could wake up. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, Mom's I in Arizona, what? Her mom's in Arizona, but also, imagine just, like, walking into your child's bedroom, and, and you And them find... and their bed are just gone. Yeah, them and their bed are fucking missing. <laughs> what? <laughs> also, vampires eating a bed. Uh, I believe, let's see. Me. Uh. The most. This is where the cringe happens for me. <laughs> okay, um. When we got to... This seems appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to be like him. I knew you were going to be like him. <laughs> when we got to the door, there was some, someone blocking it suicidally. I... I Carly? I, we all screamed at once. Yes, I can't take it anymore. He said, breathing all crazy. He was looking at me. Edward put his hand around me like protection. Why are you here, Dad? Get out. His eyes started to rage against the Just his eyes. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
I hate this. Ow. I hate this so much. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Random. I'm here to Ow. Take. Ugh. I can't. I, I hate this so much. <laughs> I'm here to take. Twilia. Tequila. But there's no ta. It's T Q I L Y L A. Twala. Tequila. 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 That's why I said tequila. But it's tequila. Yeah. I am gong. I am. I'm barfing in my mouth. I'm going to make <laughs> her my bride, and we will live in the darkness forevermore. Ha 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 ha. He laughed evilly in a gothic voice that I suddenly realized was sexy. Then I started to think. Ugh, ugh, ugh. It just makes me sick. <laughs> Like, you're married to the son, and now you're thinking the dad's sexy. Man, your dad's hot, by the way. Uh, uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Woo, you missed out on the face each ten, man. <laughs> Wait now. I commanded, with a K, uh, when Ed was about to kill Carlisle. Darkness forevermore. I was beginning to have a mind change. Maybe it would be good for me, you know? Because I need a vampire who can keep me gothically satisfied and stuff. I hate that's that they use for I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna date anybody unless they can have me gothically satisfied. Oh, I thought you were gonna say in case they're unless their dad can keep you gothically satisfied. <laughs> that yeah, I'm I'm sorry, look, I can't I date you. I can only date your dad who's gonna keep me gothically satisfied. Look, I only hook up with people with hot dads. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you thought I was dating you. Jokes on you, I'm gonna become your new stepmom. What? <laughs> No, it's past dating. They're married. Or They're alternatively, married. look, I just need to know what I'm getting into in a couple years. And then on top of that, tequila's 16 in all of this. But she's also but a, she's vampire. a vampire. So how long has she been alive? How long has she been 16? I don't think they thought like that. I uh, really don't think three they thought years. like that. Three years. She's been 16 for three years. So technically she's so technically, she's eighteen. No. <laughs> technically, she's nineteen. Oh yeah, nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ew. I'm still. Oh god, we we we've hit the fucking dragon lolly threshold. <laughs> There's a reason why I haven't started watching that anime. Which one? You said dragon lolly. Which one do you think? Uh, Dragon Man. Yeah. The first seasons, uh, I've read enough of the manga that I'm kind of concerned about the second season. You know what we need more of that we haven't gotten more of? Hmm. Monster Masume. I'm just upset that we've, like, even in the manga, we haven't gotten any monster dudes. They fucking teased us. Yep. The only one we got is the stereotypical anime lesbian. Uh, yep. That, wait, that was a monster dude. That was just like a handsome monster lady. <laughs> Who I happened mean, to be flat chested. Still a kink. Still yeah. a kink. They, they were still good looking. Handsome women do it for me. Um. Uh, Besides the point. <laughs> Where the fuck? Shameless. Oh, pussy. right. I. I'm sorry. I just. Rude. I'm sorry. 
fucking calling me a hus- hussy in front of everyone. I'm doing a crossword while we're reading this so I don't lose my mind. And, and number 41 is down is shameless hussy. <laughs> What? I don't know. I just oh, imagine like some kid, hey mom, what does hussy mean? <laughs> What's a shameless uh, hussy? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jess is in pain. Oh, it's a, a Jezebel. Ah, Jezebel. Mm. It's your turn. Hashtag like Jezebel. <laughs> Whose turn? Yours. Wait a minute, isn't Jezebel a fucking biblical reference? Anyway, um, it is your line. Uh, Edward was heartbroken. He sat tired to scream at the top of his lungs at, as black venomous, venomous blood poured out of him when a vampire gets ejected by the person that they truly love, their body Dorts to spaz all explosing like. I was mysterious, so I didn't let you know what was going, what was gong in my thoughts. Lol. Also, I looked it up. Yep, Jezebel is from the Bible. She was the uh, wife of King Ahab. Uh, and apparently resulted in most of the prophets at the time, uh, most of the prophets of Yahweh at the time being killed. Mm-hmm. So that's fun. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a plane. <laughs> I said sullenly, joyfully to Carlisle's. He was surmised that someone like me would want to be with him. Everyone in the room screamed in surprise. Please, please, just tell me what I did to make you want to leave me, said Ed, having an epileptic Caesar, Caesar hmm. on the floor. I really go for I a Caesar salad right now. I'm just imagining someone seizing up on the floor while also screaming, why are you leaving me? <laughs> For some reason. Why are you leaving me? <laughs> I don't know. That just, that just sounded more like an old lady. <laughs> you see, what immediately comes to mind is just like I in kind Gmod of... when you forcibly like try to drag a rag doll through the floor. Yeah. And the what body parts just start slamming into the ground. And so I'm just imagining oh, like this loud thumping, like, as, like, their body parts are just, like, slamming into the floor over and over, and just also from it, why are you leaving me? <laughs> Life in my head, for some reason, seizure reminded me of electricity, so I tried to sound like I was being electrified. I don't know. My brain works weird. Anyway, on the floor. But I didn't say anything still, even though he was crying all too sensitive. It's just too sensitive. Uh, okay, I finally gasped at Amaz. Please just go along with this. You'll see the true intestine. <laughs> the true intestines of my plan soon. And I made him take Ed away. And then I went with Carl, who was like, I'm so glad that you've made such a good choice, cackling all satanically. <laughs> You're welcome, Andre. We went to his house. STFU, we didn't even do anything yet, you freaking pervs. And then I, and I knew what I had to do. <laughs> In chapter 9. Alrighty. Chapter 10. Woo. <laughs> uh, I love that spelling. Did I say love? I meant kill me. <laughs> Stop saying what we all are thinking. <laughs> it's not my line. No, it's not. I'm waiting. 
Yep, give me a second. I'm mentally preparing myself for this absolute monstrosity. Yeah, yeah, you Jezebel. A N O K guys. I know you all have been wadding for me up dots, but I was I on it. tour with Fallout Boy because so they read me story and invited me to come with them and it was re really cool eleven. Yeah, be jealous. Okay, MCR and Little boys, rock six six six. You're welcome. You, you missed the fucking chapter title. <laughs> oh, sorry. Chapter ten: Visions of the Antichrist. <laughs> Antichrist. <laughs> Antichrist. Uh, it's just how, it, how Australians say it. Antichrist. Hmm. Oh, well, you know, starting to run in with the only cross on earlier. Ay, ay, ay. So, can you please tell me for why you decided to grace me with your presence? Said Carl, Carly, smiling. Carly. 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 I noticed how sex ha. He looked with his violet contacts in. He looked like an older, hotter version, vision of Edward and Pete Wentz. Okay, just because all white people look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna think I said that not as a joke. <laughs> Someone's going to fucking was... think I was serious with that statement. Oof. And just to you specifically, I was. He was wearing block eyeliner that was gong down his face from the last time he cried. Uh, your son has taken advantage of me too many times. What were you sticking in your mouth? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, remove a bottle. Uh. <clears throat> Don't snort it. You have to grind it up first. Swear to fuck if you light it on fire. <laughs> um, I growled, staring at him, all gothic. Suddenly my vision went black and all I could see was blackness. I screamed and screamed because I didn't know what was happening. Then I saw a vision of the Antichrist, and I started laughing dark and suicidally. Not exactly sure what that means, but I... <laughs> You're laughing and crying at the same time. I don't fucking know. I'm not sure why you that that sounded more like Jim Carrey's Grinch. <laughs> Twyla, I just read your mind. Shouted, Khaleesi. Khaleesi. No, I said because I just saw the anti crit anti -surst. anti -surst. <laughs> Yeah, anti <-surst. laughs> What? Focus this. Yeah. Jess. 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 Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I zoned out and I just saw what's going to happen, <laughs> and it's just a lot of my brain going WTF, 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 why WTF? Anyway. Um, She's yes, my, and I'm here crying. <laughs> yes, my true form is Satan, he described. That was me going into your thoughts, and I saw the true reason 
why you came here with me. And it's not the it, sexy like thoughts it. either. It's mind thoughts, sadly. <laughs> hey, Satan, I got a question. Uh, what? What was it like getting a lap dance from Little Nas X? Fucking amazing. I 10 out it. of 10, would do again. You know, if you had it, it died. Eh. Fuck. Lucky. Um... Fucking hell. Let me just tell you. I started sobbing because he figured me out. I came here because Because you wanted to make Ed watch G loose, he They're said, and I started to cry. How did you know I asked all depressed? He said, because I just rad your mind. Then all suddenly somebody knocked on Carlo's door. He walked at me sadly and opened the door and some girl I didn't know jumped in. This is where my WTF goes off the what? wall. The fuck am I missing? <laughs> You can't just say yeah. that about a child. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. Good night. <laughs> yes. uh, it was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> and I'm kind of insulted because I think they're trying to spell Kelly Clarkson. And I'm like, no, Kelly Clarkson's great. I like her music. <laughs> well, it's not Kelly Clarkson. It's Kelly Clarkson. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, behind those hazel eyes. I'm sorry. Don't you fucking give me the smolder after that. <laughs> what is this? Why are you here? We both asked the girl. She was really ugly and 12 years old and you can't was wearing just say a that pink. about a child. <laughs> and no. <laughs> really ugly. This is a very <laughs> ugly child. I want to go now now next now I'm just going to go up to a random child and tell them that they're really ugly. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. And was wearing a pink Kelly Clarkson shirt and had frizzy blonde I figured it hair and an ugly face. <laughs> I hate that. That's no. This is a very ugly child. <laughs> This is no. the ugliest 12 year old you've ever seen. That's horrible. <laughs> no. Hi, guys. <laughs> Me name is Fiona. She screamed, <sighs> giggling, and walked into the house, but Carlisa <laughs> <laughs> pushed her back out. But you Ooh. can call me Fiona Fiona32. Um. So I'm 100% sure that this is supposed to be a critic. <laughs> this is someone who left a bag in the room. Did she actually put someone that put a criticism review and made her into the story? Mm hmm. As a 12, as an ugly 12 year old with blonde hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> No! <laughs> it's better. <laughs> you get the fuck out of here. I shooted. Oh, jeez, you're such a prep. Me and, me and Car Calorie were both disgusted, and suddenly Eduard appeared and bit her neck, and she started to scream and bleed. <laughs> I, I was sobbing because bleeding was my greatest desire. <laughs> but my doctor said, oh, God, fucking hell. We were having a good time. <sighs> but my doctor said if I cut myself anymore, I'd die and end our would be sad.
again, I think if you're a vampire, that stops being as much of a problem. The fuck fell. <laughs> Booped your nose. Uh, anyway, Fauna died on the floor, and her body shriveled up and rotted away. Edward came in and got in a standoff with his dad. Man, I wish someone would fight their dad for me. <laughs> Yeah, eat there. Please, please stop. I said, still crying. They were both killing each other, and their makeup was running down the faces. I'm Saws, Ed. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just wanted you to be jealous. There are better I, ways. <laughs> I don't want to be with your dad. Can you please take me home? There are better ways of making your boyfriend jealous than trying to fuck their dad. <laughs> That's apparently Satan. I think at this point, him being Satan is the least of our problems. <laughs> That's debatable, considering what I have to read. Anyway, <laughs> Edward was so relieved, but Carl... 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 I, I think that is how Carlisle is spelled. No, wait, no. Carlisle's. Because mm. I want to say no, Carlisa that's not, over and over. That's, that's not it's how Carlisle's spelled. Oh, it's, wait, it's, it's L-I-S-L. It's Carlisle. It's C-A-R-S-I-L. Or L-I-L, something like that. But that's, yeah, that's not, I'll, I'll fucking know. It's a weird-ass fucking name. Let's leave it at that. I'm just going to say Carlisle's for this one. But Carlise was crying angrily. Oh, you made Satan cry. Wow. Good job. That's fucking awesome. Look, he's, he's had a hard day at work. <laughs> and he started to transform. No, Eleven. He yelled. No, Eleven! <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can reject Satan. Do you hear me, Tilla? I am Stan. <laughs> I Dan. Also, I found it. I was right. It's C R C A R L I S L E. Yeah, whatever. I'm fucking close, close to something. Um. Anyways, is he is English? Dan. He is Stan. He's Stan. <laughs> yeah, I know. I said rolling my eyes, but he came running at me, and I kicked him, and he fell over moaning. Or did you kick him? <laughs> Probably in the crotch. That would explain the moaning. <laughs> Just as kink. Me and Ed left him there and walked out holding hands while Thanks for the Murmur Memers played in the background. Author's note. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's another uh, level of fucking typo. <sighs> Unkind word for gay people, odd boy fucking rocks. If you don't lick them, them go unalive yourself. Fuck you. Fall out boy forever. I had an invasion in my head suddenly while we were walking of the Antichrist, saying, This is not over, Twilla. This will never be over, bitch. Then I blocked it out because I knew I was stronger than him. Stronger than the Antichrist. I, okay. I believe I just had a fucking stroke. End chap 10. Number 15. Now we're on chapter 11. Burger King. I'm going to shove this pin in your <laughs> eyeball. Oh, promise? 
Make sure to stir it around right, in gotta, the socket. All right, guys, I gotta log off. I gotta mm -hmm. make a drive. <laughs> okay, I can't tell if Jess is trying to do chills or her fucking, like, like <laughs> sex hotline voice. <laughs> Why are those similar? <laughs> I mean, if you want me to talk like oh, this, no. I can. Nope, nope, uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> very uncomfortable. You're welcome. In every way imaginable. Why did I fold myself like this? Anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to start on Chapter 11. I yep. guess take it away, Jess. The Mysterious Pact. Author's note. Ham, everyone, has been forever. My mom tried to make me wear a dress, and I did, had a tantrum and broke the computer and did bad stuff to my body. That seems but impressive. Yeah, if that's real, she's just a freaking brat, but that's beside the point. I feel like she's just getting wanting attention, but that's another story. Anyway, but <laughs> no, we got a new one, Wolves. Anyway, ton tonks for the reviews while I was gone. Fuck all you preps who hate me story. I swear I'll get sane to end your life in your <laughs> sleep, you fucking posers. 666XXXMCR still rocks. 11XXX. Chapter Sorry, 11. That, like, you're going to have to get Little Nas X to do it. <laughs> and I don't think he will. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> Dude's known for trolling. Chapter 11. The next day, I was walking to Hot Tonic with Edward. When suddenly, out of nowhere, Hamez appeared out of the blue. Hot Tonic. The hot tonic. Close to Hot Topic. The tastiest place to get your tonics. Get yours today. Is this a fucking ad read? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh dear. Hi, we said gothically, but he looked very angry for some reason. Maybe because you compared him to a raisin. Yeah. Um, would you mind if I killed you? He snorted to sing from that song by with within temptation. Temp, temp torsion. <laughs> oh, I, I think I just choked on, choked on my own tongue there. <laughs> <laughs> OMG stop 1111 Edward screamed jumping in front of me I was so confused because I did not know what was going on <laughs> then I realized Hamez was trying to kill us yeah that seems like an accurate assessment of E.T. Tan she says the word nut and just starts laughing <laughs> <laughs> Not. You got both of us laughing. <laughs> it's because I nuts. was already laughing because you choked on your tongue and then there was nuts, so I started laughing even more. <laughs> so I was like, sure. That's <laughs> a <does>. fucking sentence. <laughs> yeah. You started choking on your tongue and then there was nut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yummy. It's somewhat fucking. Nope, I'm Just... not going to say that. <laughs> I didn't even have time to register what you fucking said. She said yummy. Yes, said. I know she said yummy. I was about to say some. I was about to just flat out fucking say something. I had to stop myself. <laughs> Christ. You're welcome. <laughs> People say I'm dirty. <laughs> I gotta breathe. You heard it here, folks. Just thinks nut is yummy. <laughs> Look, he's a fan of salty foods. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> Stop. 
Fucking hell. Oh, I'm gonna breathe again. Oh, I mean, I'm horrible. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Why would you do such a thing, you you sick dirtbag? I cried, wearing mm. a long black. S- I want to say this. I think it's supposed to be satin, but. <laughs> yeah. You you killed Carl and just made him into a skirt. Apparently, a long uh, black satin. It's supposed to be sa- satin, but I guess it's Satan skirt. Makes my Monster Hunter playing heart proud. So what we do to the things we kill, we make them into clothing. Mm-hmm. With black leather boots and a ripped fishnet poncho over a black velvet bra with red skulls. Me makeup was ruined. Ru- ruining down my pale, pale face because I was weep, weep, paying. Weeping. Yeah. Weeping. Weeping. Yeah. Now the that Bell are. Oh, God. <laughs> now that Bellar is dead, I don't need your help, Hamez said, as he also sobbed. <laughs> Why is everybody crying? Because it's just so emotional right now. So very emotional. So um, very emotional. I can't hold all these tears. I don't want to do this, but I have to. I'm a Freud of that. I dare you to finish that sentence Edmond muttered at the <laughs> top of his lungs. It's also he all turned caps. into a bat and flew at Hamez, but Victor leaped in front of him. But are you... <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? We all screamed, exempt Hamez, because she was his girlfriend. Your girlfriend's name is Victor. My girlfriend's name is Victor. Oh, oh, Victoria, Victor. Okay, that makes sense now, I guess. Okay. She had jumped out of the trees. Okay. (laughs) Then we decided to make up because we had no reason to fight. Well, there's no. Maybe you will find out what Hamez was gonna say before. Lol. lol. Vic Roya was wearing a really sex outfit, and Edward saw me looking at her and got really jealous. Always with this guy. Always jealous. He started to make out with Hamas to get back in. <laughs> Wait. Chokes on you, Ed boy. That's my kink. Edward, no. Wait. <laughs> you're going about this the wrong way. <laughs> oh, you're checking out his girl? Well, I'm just going to make out with her boy, with, with him. Wait. <laughs> Wait, Edward. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, what have you done? OMG, you freaking arse. Vicky shooted at my busband. I now pronounce you busband and busband. Wife. Busband and busband. <laughs> you just entered the pact with Hamez. That was when we found out that whenever someone kisses Hamas, they get binded to him for the rest of eternity. (laughs) Worst powers out there. (laughs) I... (laughs) 
<laughs> what the fuck? That's so random. I laughed satanically. Edward looked really scared. But I just said, it's okay. I like bi guys, so you can be with him too. That, that's not... We didn't say it was that packed. <laughs> I don't think the pact is you kissed me, now you have to date me. That's exactly how that works. That's a very bad pact. <clears throat> I, it's new. Anyway, so, anyway. Vicky disappeared because she was mad that Edward stole her boyfriend. Then me, Edward, and James had to pre perform a special marriage ceremony for the three of us <laughs> to all be together. We Wait. all wore lots of black. That <laughs> is all, said James, looking at me flirty. Now we have to seal the pack by drinking by drinking some blood. I... <laughs> I oh. What happens oh. if you just don't complete the pact? What happens if you initiate it and don't continue? <laughs> Why was the answer to this polygamy? Because why not? I... Um, don't you fucking force me to ask these questions. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, what? We all had an orgay and went out to hunt. <laughs> we found a whore wolf. <laughs> and uh, we yes. were... The best kind of wolf. Oh my god. Obviously. And we're about to kill it when I realized it was Jacob. He changed back into. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Jacob's a whore wolf, guys. <laughs> he changed back into a person, and I gasped. His long black hair had purple and silver streaks in it. His skin was ten shades lighter. Oh. And he was wearing an Alzina t-shirt with tight black pants. That... I, that's concerning. <laughs> There's a lot wrong with that. A lot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to know what Tin Shad's lighter means. Mm -hmm. It means what you think. That is a very pale man. Like, I don't think that's quite healthy. I'll be real with you. OMG, Jake. Um, I said shy and sexy. Hi, you look really good? No. No. I don't think Jacob's the whore wolf here. <laughs> who who locked Jacob in a cupboard for like several years to get him that pale? Uh, don't you know it's just the goth effect? Dunked him in bleach. Hello? I just, I'm, I'm confused right now. You're processing? I'm, I'm processing. Oh, boy. Um, thanks, I got a new style, he said and looked at all of us. Since you killed my dad, I got real hardcore. <laughs> hey, guys, can I join your pact? I'm sorry, I'm imagining a fucking bleached Taylor Lautner and I hate it. I'll be real with you. We had a secret gothic huddle and bout about 
it, but they got angry and said no. Jacob started to cry because we killed his dad and now we owed him. But <laughs> they I don't had think. Aurora <laughs> roll her eyes. Yeah, that's karma. She, she <laughs> pissed. <laughs> if you pee out, that's I piss karma. karma. <laughs> I piss karma. That's the only way you can do karma nowadays. You just gotta, I don't know, piss it Please out. Don't moan in my ear. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. At first, my brain was fucking hung up on the picture of Taylor Lautner, but pale, which I hate. Um. <clears throat> then the whole thing of, hey, you guys killed my dad. Can I join your polycule? <laughs> Which, I don't think that's ever healthy. And then, that's, the that's... fact that she apparently pissed karma. <clears throat> Please stop moaning in my ear. <laughs> I'm and not moaning in your ear. You're my, making me uncomfortable. My hip has locked into place, and I cannot get it to unlock. So I am literally in pain. I'm sorry if my sounds of pain are making you uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck it out. Oh, there it went. There it went. That fucking hurt. But then fucking he hurt. turned back into a wolf and tried to attack us. I turned into a bat and flew out of the way. But Hamez was too slow. I screamed suicidally as Jakabob. Uh, Jakabob. I think that was my last brain cell. As Jakabob uh, was about to tear apart Hamet, Hams, who suddenly shooted, If I die, then you all die. Remember the pact we made together? <laughs> We were all horrified at this. So we had to save him, but we got all cut up. But Edward said, it's okay, Twy. You look exy with blood on you. Run. So we ran away and Jake got lost in the woods. <laughs> that That's a red flag. <laughs> okay, I guess Edward thinks Twy looks sexy on her period, too. Why did you have to say that? <laughs> Did you hear uh, no, Stephanie Meyer's this. explanation as not to this. why Edward was not interested when Bella was on her period? It was something about the blood being dead. Yeah, the blood was dead and not fresh. Granted, there are reasons I can immediately think of for why a vampire would be like, yeah, no, I'm not drinking that. One of which being the fact that it's also filled with, like, jettisoned uterine lining and mucus. I just made a joke, and now y'all just destroyed it, but okay. Yeah, I need I've to never not watched think it. about that. I need to not think about that. Then don't. <laughs> I don't need to think about Edward getting his red wings. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> you innocent little thing. I'm not explaining that one. No, I know what it means. I'm more like, what did he did he actually say what I think he said? That's what yeah, my what is about. Anyway. He <laughs> you you heard it here, folks. He said that. That's where wait a minute. Wait. Okay, <laughs> okay, no. Ah oh, fuck. Okay. Actually with how we went, yeah, those chapters would probably take us the regular amount of time. As it was, anyway. So yeah, that's where we're going to end this one. <sighs> Special thank you to Andre D, Summer Moon Soldier, and Destiny Baird for supporting us on Patreon. If you like what we do and like support us in any way, consider going down to that link in the description and pledging any amount of money uh, you want to us. You can support us for as little as a dollar. No one does that one, though. I don't know why. Because no. dollar dollar make you holler. Holla holla, get dollar. 
I don't know. Uh, if you either don't want to or can't send us money, that's all right. Uh, but if you still want to support us, you know, YouTube stuff. I'm not going to pressure you either way. It's just that YouTube apparently works better when you do a call to action and say, hey, yo, please like, subscribe, please. 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 It would make me very happy. It would just turn me right on. Is that a spider? That is a spider! <laughs> now that just turns me right on. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm Come come here, spider. Don't kill. Come here, spider. Did you fall in there? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. I have been Lydic. The person with the spider is Ichigo Kaneko. And the person I set it on fire with my candle. <laughs> I was it was dangling over my candle and I was trying to get at the piece of paper and I accidentally <laughs> cut the thread in front of the candle. <laughs> right now I'm about to cry. Oh. <laughs> I am so sorry. At least you died a blueberry lavender sent to death. Died from being on fire. It was an accident. <laughs> he set a spider on fire. <laughs> I was trying to get it on a piece of paper so I could. I don't know what I was going to do with it, but it fell on the candle and now it's dead. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> thanks for listening, guys. This has been what are you reading? <laughs> oh, oh, fucking hell, my arms are doing things. <laughs>